Education, big focus of the governor's condition of the state address just tonight. As expected, she rolled out her plan for a school voucher program. Under the plan, families who enroll in a child in private school will receive nearly $7,600 in state funding. That money would have gone to public schools had they stayed with public school. Now the public school will still receive $1,200 even if that student chooses a private option instead. Family income limits will apply the first two years of the program. The limits are then lifted on year three. WHO 13 political director Dave Price at the State House for the entire speech and specifically the one that we knew she would be focused in on. Uh, what, third time's a charm now? That's what she hopes. Yeah. The governor has given the annual address before lawmakers six times now. And tonight was that third time that she's made a pitch to help more parents pay for private schools. After failing the past two years to convince enough fellow Republicans in the House to support her changes, she then campaigned last year to get them defeated by other Republicans who would follow her wishes on this idea. Now, tonight, in her condition of the state address, she criticized her critics. She pitched her private schools plan a new version, and she called for a major reorganization of state government. We've been told time and time again that our bold agenda would wreck our economy, demolish our education system, and lead to the collapse of state government. We ignored the hysteria, and Iowans are better for it. If we're really going to make sure that every child has a quality education, then we have to set aside this us versus them mentality because it's not about whose team you're on. It's not about your politics. It's not about you. And it's certainly not about me. It's about our children. It's been nearly 40 years since we've undertaken a comprehensive review of government operations and structure. And frankly, it shows. The governor tonight spoke before a much different legislative makeup this year. More than a third of the members are first timers, and now nearly two thirds of the legislators are Republicans. The House Democratic leader says her party is willing to look at efficiencies in government if they believe they will benefit Iowans, but she hopes Republicans will join Democrats to stop the governor from shifting more tax dollars to private schools. This is in no way, shape or form a done deal because they know, like Iowans do, that this isn't what's right for kids and the majority of Iowans oppose these vouchers. And I'm thinking the majority of the legislature, at least the House will too. And we did some quick math on this, but roughly speaking, the governor wants a two and a half percent bigger budget next year, two and a half percent more for public schools, community colleges and the public universities. Her private school voucher program would cost the state an extra one hundred and six million dollars the first year. Homeschool families are not included in this proposal. OK, uh, good information. And we know rural districts have a different opinion than metro districts, Dave, do you see that changing with this? That's what we wait to see. You know, there's still a lot of specifics we have to see, especially that reorganization plan about which state agencies are gonna merge with others, but specifically about schools. It was some of those rural lawmakers in the House on the Republican side who did not wanna back this plan, especially if there is no private school close to them. There isn't anything specifically in here tailored toward that, so we're waiting to see how that plays out, but it seems like this time, this third time, there is more confidence from Republican legislators that this will go through.